Hey, Paul Miles from The Busy Group. Our purpose is to help you find your purpose through education, training, and employment. And we help thousands of people every year to do that. So, no one wants you. You've been rejected again. We've all been there. I've been rejected from jobs that I didn't even want, and I still don't know why I didn't get them. So, what can you do about it to handle rejection? First of all, ask the question. Actually contact the employer that's rejected you, and particularly if you've had an interview, make sure you find out the reasons why you didn't get the job. Ask for genuine feedback, and utilize that to make sure that you go to your next interview, your next application, and see if you can progress even further. The next thing you can do, of course, is to make sure that when you do apply for jobs, check out the position description, job description, the advert, and match your resume to a lot of those key roles. So many people keep sending off their resume or writing their cover letters, the same one goes to every employer. Actually look at the specifics of the position description, the job advert, what do these people really want, and make sure you match your resume to that. The other thing you could do is call the recruiter or call the HR manager, have a chat with them, put yourself on their radar. Some jobs, I heard about an administration job here where I live on the Gold Coast of Australia the other day where I had 500 applications for one position. Call the HR manager, take that risk, stand out from the crowd and actually say, I've just applied for that job, I just want to let you know I'm really keen, make them notice you. Something else to think about is, is your body language letting you down in the interview? You might be saying all the right things, but your body is saying, yeah, I'm not that interested in that job. I know sometimes we apply for jobs that, you know, sometimes we just want some income to get through. We don't necessarily are passionate about that job. Make sure that doesn't come through. And of course, one of the big ones is don't take it personally. There are literally thousands of people applying for many jobs all the time. So maybe focus on some of those skill shortage areas and look at retraining. Always think about retraining, because if you're finding you're getting rejected all the time, often people are getting rejected from jobs where they're the jobs where there's, you know, hundreds of applications. So think about what else do I really want to do with my career? And lastly, make the most of the rejections. Use the rejections to actually develop yourself, learn what it is you can improve, and take every rejection as a step forward. Failure should never be seen as failure. Every time you fail, see it as a step forward. Failure can be such a hugely positive thing on your career. And every job you don't get, think of that as the universe telling you you've dodged a bullet and go on to the next one, learning what you've learned to make sure you get that job. It's game on, go get that job.